is Off the Cuff Cooking with Rachel and Jody. Do you use your Instant Pot? No. Well, we don't either, but that's all going to change today. We're making two yummy and super easy recipes that anyone can make in an Instant Pot. You're going to love these. Let's get started. So when I got married, the one thing that my husband wanted us to register for was a rice cooker. We didn't get a rice cooker, but a really awesome cousin bought us an Instant Pot. Now I make rice in ours all the time. It's so easy and my husband loves it. The recipe that I'm gonna show you today is for Mexican style brown rice and it's from the Instant Pot Electric Pressure Cooker Cookbook by Laurel Randolph. First, you set your Instant Pot to saute and you add some oil, then saute one and a half cups of brown rice and one small diced onion. After about three minutes, you add a quarter teaspoon of cumin and two cloves of pressed garlic and you saute that for another minute. Then you stir in one and one third cups of chicken broth, a can of tomato sauce, and a little bit of salt. Set your pressure cooker to manual at high pressure for 23 minutes and wait for the magic to happen. You also do a 10 minute natural release at the end. I tried to find something to go with your brown rice. Yes. Same. Chicken fajita sounded great. I'm excited. And I found this in the Family Friendly Keto Instant Pot Cookbook uh -huh. by Anna Hunley. I follow her on Instagram. Really? So, and this was on Hoopla. Was oh, like, great. Well, I'm going to check this book out. Yes. And she has a great recipe. Now, this is not going to be keto. Okay. Because I'm doing some changes to it. Okay. okay we're going to whisk together a quarter cup of avocado oil. I'm going to put it in here with the garlic. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's two cloves of minced garlic or two teaspoons if you get it out of the jar. Water and lime juice, mm -hmm. two tablespoons of water. It called for two, no, one teaspoon of lime juice. Just a teaspoon? Yes, but I put more. Okay. It also called for hot sauce, but there's extra liquid here mm -hmm. and we're going to have some spice in our dry mix. Okay. So I'm not doing the hot sauce because I forgot to bring it. A little bit of Trader Joe's taco seasoning mm -hmm. mix. About half of it. It's pretty spicy. I don't know how much half is, but that looks like more than half. <laughs> well, look. See, there's still some in there. You're right. There's still a bunch. Yeah, oh, there's a bunch. Good. Peppers. Now, I'm curious about these. Yes. I always use bell peppers when I make fajitas, and you use sweet peppers. Is that a thing? Well, it said red and it said red and yellow and green. Okay. And I had some little mini peppers that I needed to use up. Might as well. So I was like, we'll use those and we'll use the green. Cool. There's the chicken, one and a half pounds. Do I stir it up, do you think? Yeah. It doesn't tell me to. Alright, so there's that. Okay. And then we're gonna close the lid. Okay. Cook on high pressure for five minutes. Okay. Let's look at the rice first. Okay. Let's look at the rice first. <laughs> Looks good. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna squeeze my lime on this I taco. Too. I'm gonna try <clears throat> the rice first. Okay. Let's try the rice okay. first. Mmm. I really like it. You can't tell that's brown rice. No, you can't. I'm gonna have to start using my instant pot. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna eat this okay. tiny finita taco. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm gonna. Mm -hmm. That's really, really good. I'm gonna have to get some of that Trader Joe's mm -hmm. seasoning because that is good. I like the lime. Mm -hmm. It's really good. It's really, really good. I think this is the best thing we've made. I think it is. Thanks for watching another episode of Off the Cuff Cooking. For more easy recipes to make in your Instant Pot, check out these cookbooks from Hoopla and the Fort Smith Public Library.